Oh. Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Welcome back to all the mods. Let's play. I'm currently hiding underground because there's a giant tornado outside, as you can see. We have uh, air raid sirens going off. Custom area with tornadoes in America. And uh, yeah, it's right there over the village. Looks to be heading north. It started much closer. I had to crash, crash my game. So yeah, it's going over the village, probably sucking up all the residents. I have prevented that. It only sucks up us and mobs. And <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it is doing that, then there's something program to get with a config to have to fix. No, I don't think it is. But anyway... Oh, it's closer than I thought it was. I thought it was going that way. Oh no, it's it's going west. Right. Well, I should be fine. So even with all that going on in the background, let me attempt to uh, do something here. It looks like that siren follows the tornado around. No, it's actually from source blocks around. Oh, okay. Anyway, I can I can make sirens and place them down. There are there are some things that need doing. Um, there's a thing that I wanted to make. Yes, the ever shifting fountain. Yeah, all I gotta do is throw this in here. It's basically instantaneous as well. We'll just make a whole bunch of this. Lovely. Yeah, there goes the tornado over there. So now that I have the infused wood, I can make enriched infused wood by combining it with some aquamarines. Aquamarines. Infused wood. I need six of this. Hmm. Oh. It needs to be infused what? wood planks first. So, there's things first. I need to turn this into planks. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, my astral sorcery wand has some Thoundcraft well, stuff on of, it. Yeah, speaking of astral sorcery, have you looked at the my Thoundcraft area to see if anything's changed about the starlight levels? No. Yeah, that little field that shows you where Starlight is pulled at or something? Yeah, your whole base basically was uh, covered in um, an amplified star field. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you do two of them. And now I've got that. Well, I, I need to go over there with my Fosic Resonator in order to see that. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if it's changed since I changed the biome. Okay. I wouldn't think so. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a biome. I think it's just uh Well, um, now it's a magical forest. I wonder if that increases or lowers. Well, no, your your, your whole your area is still uh just uh, the whole thing is still just a uh a giant amplified star field. It's too bad I didn't. Mm -hmm. If I had noticed if I had found this area of amplifiedness first, Unless, I mean, it's weird because the amplified star field is one, huge, and two, completely centered around your your house and your little hut building and your infusion area. It doesn't extend anywhere else. So now I have everything I need to make this, the ever-shifting fountain. But uh, it requires the iridescent altar. But it does not appear to require any sort of bound crystals, so... Good. It's gonna need one, two, three, four, five... It's gonna need one, two, three, four, five of these. So I can pop off some of these. Okay, I'm back. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if you want to come over here, I'm gonna craft something cool. Where you at? Over at my crafting altar, of course. The only place where I can craft cool things. 
sooty marble, gold, ruined marble. Can you wait until it's nighttime? Yeah, it does have to be nighttime. I wonder why those aren't flashing. Oh wait, these are aquamarines. I have to upgrade these. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go check on the pier downstairs. It's been a while. There's two F tornadoes cut out there. If you look at the radar that's in front of your altar. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? I'm out of starlight. I need more liquid starlight. Oh, that's another thing I need. I need to make the um the chalice. So I can store a reserve of liquid starlight. Yeah. Well, the light well doesn't just isn't it's not just because of the light well. The light well only works when you stick a rock crystal or an aquamarine over it. So it requires limited resources that can't be manufactured. Uh yet. Yeah, the only way to well, the uh, the aquamarines spawn around riverbeds. The rock crystals. Oh yeah, spawn yeah, but the, where were the magical crops? You can grow aquas. We can grow <laughs> what? Aquamarines from astral sorcery can be grown in magical crops. Yes, but the problem is we need a lot of diamonds. We have a, a lot, lot, don't we? Of like a few hundred thousand. That's a lot of diamond. Well, you better fire. Let me double check. I believe I have a seven crafting recipe for it. Let me go double check you it. Better fire up the digital miner. Yeah. <laughs> sure, we in the middle. We have so much star metal. This evening. There we go. So now we can make the ever shifting fountain. So those little things are gonna pop. The ghost images are gonna pop up on these things, and I'll have to put the resources. Ah! Good. Well, I just walked off the. Uh, Side. Into a horde of zombies. It's fine, I just jumped my way back up. Well, it's just not telling me where to put this stuff. Maybe I just have to have them down first. Why can't I put that there? Are you sure it's the right um, star type in there? It didn't require one. Uh, the constellation? Because there is a constellation in there, so. Tunes crystal, ever. Yeah, but it didn't require one. This, uh, this, this recipe doesn't require one of those. It's not on the list of things that it needs. It needs two resident gems and three stardust and the little thingies around it. Why isn't this working? Is that right? Is that, that looks like Aquamarine, not Resonant. It is Resonant. They're all Resonant. For some reason, the Resonants show There's up. There's Resonant gems in the crafting table. Yeah, because it takes them in the crafting table as well. Yeah. It takes two Resonating gems in these things and two in the craft. It's not working. Well, it's not full on Starlight. This thing. It's got enough. There's the beam. Well, the beam's I'm gone. The it. beam's gone now. Why isn't this working? There's nothing in this thing that says that it needs. Well, what are you trying to make? Ever shifting fountain. Let me do a quick check. Um, I forget what's the called modern card again. Astral sorcery. Oh, sorcery. Yeah, it doesn't require. Because if you go to the observatory, and you hover over it, it tells you it requires a focus to a constellation. Ever-shifting fountain doesn't. It just requires starlight. But it's still not... Well, now it doesn't... Now it doesn't have enough. Let's see... There, now it... Oh! Okay, well now it absolutely has enough. Okay, it looks like we had gotten off the... What? You cut out. It had dropped below the minimum required um, starlight. Now these things are starting to yep. do their thing of, of telling me what goes where. I'm guessing the light blue. Yeah, that's light blue. Yeah, it only just reached midnight, so that's probably what I was waiting for. 
There we go. Peak time. Excellent. Look at that! It's a good thing I had- No! I did it again! It's probably gonna finish crafting while I'm not even there. That's a very <laughs> cool effect, where the light beams seem to be bouncing all the way from the corner. Off the corners. Hmm. Everything should be set correctly now. It's not maxed out, apparently. There we go. So now I have the ever-shifting fountain. Now it isn't going to do anything until I make one of the primes for it. Yeah, but there was like two, apparently. Yep, or I'm going to make the Narromantic prime. To do that, I need a rock crystal. I think I have one. The Narromantic <gasps> prime isn't very expensive, but it does require three resonating gems. And it has to be focused constellation to octans. Oh, crap. I don't have that. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this thing down somewhere. So this doesn't do anything right now. But what I want next is the containment chalice. So I need two, three, four, I need five aquamarines, two resonating gems. So I need seven aquamarines. And that's it, basically. It's really cheap. There we go. It's got all of its aquamarines. One by one, they're powering up. Yeah, baby, yeah. So anyway, this uh, RTS game I'm, I've been dreaming of, it's sort of like Steampunk Command & Conquer when you think about it, because you start each mission with your little command truck, and you move it into position, and you deploy it, and it's stationary, and you can build stuff, but you can you need to harvest resources like uh, wood and iron, refine it. I can do forever about this. Get power. I Attract people, mm -hmm. see? You have to attract people to your settlement. Um, cause you need man. So it's kind of like a mix of also, like some colony game yeah. and a um, RTS stealth Cause you game. Also, yeah, because you need manpower, and the manpower comes in the form of, uh, you know, your your other your 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 friends out in the field are are always uh, evacuating refugees. So you're constantly, huh. they're con you know, every once in a while they'll bring in a load of refugees, but you've got to have places for them to go. Okay. It's not even half done making the seed yet. Okay. It's only 10%. The light well is functional. The small size is basically problematic. There's, uh, some method of compressing liquids is needed. Owing to the nature of the celestial energies, an elegant method, blah, 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 blah. This liquid starlight is blah, 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 blah. Fortunately, this means that relocating a chalice, blah, 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 dispersed into the ether. To draw a liquid starlight from nearby light wells across the ethereal, though only the bottom seems safe to manually manipulate the contents of a chalice. The containment does not prevent the fluid from seeking escape, and ethereal tendrils will explore near the chalice. These essence tendrils may improve the infuser's absorptive performance. The essences of other fluids contained nearby seem far more ready to interact. Fluid interactions generate from nearby chalices containing appropriate liquids with slower loss than would be expected from the raw. What is this talking about? Adding more gems to counteract the escaping essence destabilizes the chalice. A slight power boost in the form of a redstone signal to a containing chalice suffices to prevent essence escape. What does this mean? Sounds like it's like taint from Thomcraft. He, if he lets it there for too long, it may cause like some kind of spread or corruption of some kind. Only the bottom seems safe to manually manipulate the contents of the chalice. Boop. Okay, containment chalice. There's... Oh, there it goes. Look. Look at that. It's doing it. It's sucking mm -hmm. in. It's sucking it in from the light well. It says something about. It says that you know these tendrils might increase the efficiency of this thing. I wonder if that means that these things of starlight here have less of a chance of disappearing when these things are there. This, That's probably what it is. The containment chalice is also how you feed this ever shifting fountain. You have to place one of those on top of this thing. So if you see these, these it's, the containment chalice actually has these four white cubes on the bottom of it, and this has four white cubes on the top, four white squares. You have to place a containment chalice on top of this, 
and then it feeds it so with starlight. The question starlight. is, can you pick up the containment chalice with it having starlight in it? No, if you pick up the containment chalice while it has starlight in it, the starlight is dispersed into the ether. That means that when you want to set up an ever-shifting fountain, you have to place it down, place an empty chalice on top, and then fill it from another source, either by placing... So you need a few more chalices then. You need to be, yeah, or you need to have the liquid starlight stored in another mod's container that you can actually take with you. See, I need the acoustic resonator in order to find the locations where I can put down the ever shifting fountain. Because the Narromantic Prime only works in certain areas areas that have an underground liquid source below the bedrock. And that is blank. Uh, the Narromantic Prime extracts. There. Huh? Where are you at? Where do you think? Look to look behind you. Oh, constellation papers. Hey. I got octans. That's what we needed. Horologium, octans, fornax. Okay. There's one left on the ground. I picked it up. Again. So I've got octans, but now I have to go into this observatory and find it. That is a giant constellation. Unless it's multiple constellations. Like if this is octans. Hey, it is octans. Cool, I got octans. Sick. I scouted it. Octans has been scouted. Okay. Okay. Now, I just need to place it down. Haha, it's still active. This one is purity 45. This one is purity 75. So I'll use the 45 purity since I'm just using it for crafting. Go in there. Yeah! Attuning my first dim constellation. Octan. Which was interestingly in a giant, in a really thick cluster of other stars. Like it was one little part of it, but there was a bunch of other stars around it. So there's obviously another constellation. Maybe another dim one. Octans, where is it in the sky? I don't see it. I know it's in the sky, otherwise, this wouldn't be working. Maybe it, oh, it's probably too dim for me to see. That's like the whole point of them. They're too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Okay, so rock crystal attuned. Excellent. So if I go stick this in my iridescent altar, I should be able to see that it will say that it's attuned to octans. Boop. Ah, oh, that's what yep. I need. Each. It is attuned to octans. This only needs three, and I've got four down, so it didn't. It didn't choose this one. There we go. One icosic resonator coming up. You know your um. Come on, baby. Still active. Your two minute altar is still active. I know. You'll just stay active until uh, that constellation is no longer in the sky. Okay, icosic resonator. So now I gotta find. Ah, look! Look down here. There's a thing down here. Well, I mean, you won't be able to see it. Yeah, about whatever. But it's this area over. Wait. This area over here is full of water. Wait, hold it out again. I saw something glowing near you. Yeah, that's the. Uh... Those little pillars. Well, it's like little, it looks like little sprays of water coming out of the ground. Yeah, I was seeing them. I was seeing them. Oh, no, there's a fire one. There's a lava one over here. Oh, another sandstorm. Yeah, so there's water ones around here. There was a lava one over there. They seem to keep changing locations or new ones and new ones are respawning or something. Yeah, well, this whole area is a hotbed, so I could... I could place it down here is the point, and it would be able to suck things up. So, these pillars need to be too tall. 
put this in my shield slot so I can stand on high. Sooty Marvel goes there, and then Ruined Marvel makes the ring. Sooty Marvel. So Sooty Marvels. Ah! Sooty Marvel. Sooty Marvel. I need to place down my ever shifting fountain. One, two, put that right there. So now, if I right click on it with my sextant, it'll just show me the ring. Ah, there we go. I like that tool. The sextant is great. Brings me back to all of my time building thing, building round things in Minecraft. Most of my, like, I did a lot of circles back in the day. With this astral sorcery stuff that I built, that tower and things, I was going, I was sort of going back to the square. Mm hmm. But I've mostly, been, I've mostly done circles. Like, if you look at my history, lots of circles. Okay. Let's look at that there. Now place down the marble pillar. Now here's the thing. I don't know how much starlight this actually requires. I might need more than an entire chalice. What are you doing? I'm trying to automate the village food a bit more better because it's not probably working. Okay. I now have the proper multi-block structure around the ever-shifting fountain, Shiva. So, we are almost ready to be able to do this. So I'll place the containment chalice on top of the ever-shifting fountain. I don't think it matters. I wonder if the thing actually has to be literally directly over one of these. The you know, other thing I think of is the lamps. They're, they're interfering with the melty block. Get rid of them then. What I'm doing... Yeah. Well, we'll get some torches from the system and set them up. This thing ain't running. Dang, man. Did you hear me? What? Get some torches from the system and set them up. Unless this requires a lever. Well, don't do it until I get in here and do things. Nothing else in this mod, really. Whoa, I, I found found the problem. Oh. There's a, there a, there a light oh, block in Oh, get there. out of there, Shiva. Get out of there. You're going to get obliterated. Oh, on my screen, you're just standing right there. Hope the zombies froze. Everything's froze. Ah, oh, there's lightning crackling in the ring. Ow. Maybe I shouldn't stand on top of it. What was in the way of it? Um, my boots place down light blocks as I walk. Ah, oh, there it goes. There. It's firing, she's. Unfortunately, there's no sound effect. Ow. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Now I need a, a chalice. I got some. We need chalices, empty chalices, so that this thing can deliver its payload. First, it's got to dig all the way down to bedrock. Oh, wait, it's already got something. What do we got? I don't know what's in there, but it's still putting something in there. Something black. That's got to be oil. Yeah, but it is oil. I'm not looking at any eyes. It says oil. Haha, <laughs> yeah, liquid oil. We got oil. So this thing will drill oil. Now the question is, break all the chalices again, please. What? I want to see if it just has to be on the ring, or it can be outside. Oh, I'm sure. Like, it, I'm sure down. they can be outside the ring, Sheaves. Oops. I just liked it on the ring because it it was thematic. Yeah, but so let's see. Let me do this. Place one here. Yep, even reads it there. I'm sure it's got a pretty wide area. 
wherever we put the chalices, we gotta be able to put, like, pipes underneath them. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This thing looks a little less impressive in the daytime, but that's <laughs> just because there's so much light. Um, mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. Oh, it can suck from there. Good. Uh, join the Discord if you'd like to chat with us, if you'd like to play games with us. Uh, just you be in your bunker. Let us know. Yeah, yep. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for supporting the series. Do you have anything to say, Sheaves? Once again, once again, remember to donate. The surfer still needs upgrades yeah, and everything. Yeah, if you'd like to donate... Donate via the... If you'd like to, Good. yeah, if you'd like to donate specifically to the server upgrades, you can go ahead and do that via the link in the description. So all the money, that, any money that goes to that will go straight to the server that we run all these games on. So if you don't yep. want to be a patron or anything like that, then you can always donate to that. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.